Sorry about that, Leos. Leo, this is all about you stepping into your element, being with a karmic partner, not feeling loved. When the screen first came on, I do apologize. I got it interrupted. I should have put it on airplane mode. Um, but this person is saying you're all I need, right? But spirit is saying that's you. You're all that you need. Shine like a diamond. I'm sensing that my Leos have been in karmic relationships for quite some time with people who made you believe that you were the love of the life and they weren't. You know, you tried to compete with the past. You tried to compete with someone that they used to be or that they used to love. They tricked you by promising you to be their husband and their best friend and now you're feeling the loss of them. They let go. After all this time, you're still the one. So... You are the one. In these cards, you are being triggered to work on you. I'm sensing that someone really hurt you. Devastating. You know what? Maybe they did love you. Maybe you are the one. Just not right now. Not this part in their life. You play a different role to them. Let's get into some of my funny tarot. Sometimes there's cursed ones on here. Slide left. If you don't like them, I do apologize. But, you know, Leos are learning to love themselves. Leos, which is amazing, 111, is new beginnings for you. Like, if you get on that bus and don't buy a new ticket, you can't move forward, right? When you move forward and you get a new ticket and you go to a new destination, you find something brand new. Something you may like better there than you didn't like where you were. Show me, spirit. Whatever you are thinking about, don't do it. Don't call them. Don't reach out. Now is not the fucking time. That's what the card says. Okay? I don't make this shit up. It's not my card. Whatever you are thinking, do not do it. Stop obsessing over this karmic partner. You are not the fucking center of the universe. Neither or they. Right? Let them figure it out. Back away. Love you. Move away from this energy. It's not a good energy for you to be in. Uh, let's go to this deck. Let me get some clarification here. Let's see a little story about the Leo for December. Spirits, guides, open up, clear, cleanse, Raphael, Raphael, Michael, Ezekiel, all my spirit gods, and Michael, the god of all gods. My fairies and ancestors, please come in and bless my Leo. If you have anyone during the month of December that is going through cancer, I've lit a candle. It's an amber stone. It's the sun shining, giving them light and unity in their life. Please keep them in your prayers. Seven of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune. Now, the Wheel of Fortune is moving forward, not on your own cognizance. It is your karmic partner. A lot of sneaky energy. They were getting away with a lot of stuff that you were not aware of. There was another person involved is what I'm sensing intuitively. Um, and you pulled back your energy. That is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yep, Queen of Swords. You haven't cut them out yet. You're learning how to do that. Spirit in the discernment. Ace, can't make this shit up. You are not there yet. You are the queen, right? But you had to cut them out because they went ahead and moved to the competition of the person you were trying to compete with. There's always been another person. They've always seen this other person as their life partner, but you got somehow involved in this entanglement uh, and now you're learning how to cut them out. Nine of Wands. Someone is watching you or you're watching them. Stop obsessing. Spirit has already told us several times that you were obsessing about this person. They've asked someone else to be in their life. They've invited this other person in. You can't get mad at that partner. You have to get mad at the one you're involved with because if they're giving their information to someone else, that means they're not happy with you and you don't want that person in your life, right? Why would you want someone in your life that's not good for you? The chariot, cancer energy, moving forward, wish fulfillment. Got to do what you got to do here. You are your own cycle, spirit said. You have to manifest what you want. And you're up at night about it. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius is so strong in this Leo energy. I don't know what's going on, but you're in turmoil. You have no idea what hits you here. You didn't see it coming. You knew it in your intuition. You knew it in your heart that they were doing wrong. But now you need to work on your stability. You need to get back the energy. You're, you're depositing into yourself is what Spirit said. When you do that, you draw in your life partner. Empress, again, sit back and watch it unfold. Remember, how someone else does you dirty is a reflection upon them, not on you. Stay away from this energy. I'm feeling that you want to get even, that you want to do some sneaky shit. It's not in your best interest to do that. The full moon and the clock when it strikes two. You're holding fire in your hands. That's that Leo and you showing up here. Fertility, abundance, red. You're wearing your heart. Don't do the sneaky shit. 
Don't do it. You're going to get a message from them. They're going to suck you back in and they're still not going to change. Invest in you is what Spirit said. Invest in you. Death. Scorpio energy. Letting go of a Scorpio. Leo and Scorpio. They're saying goodbye to you. Someone is watching you. Their person is watching you. They are the reason why you, that you were cut out. They're going back to someone from the past. You gave them the knife or the sword is what I heard. You gave them the ammunition. Your jealousy, your trust issues, your inhibition to move on. You were so in tune to what the old person was doing that you missed out on the opportunity with the person who's the love of your life. You're all in your head, worry, illness. Six of cups, someone's coming back for you, Leo. Someone in your past. Someone you missed an opportunity with. Someone that you did not have your wish fulfillment with. They're going to bring you flowers. Maybe it's a friend. They've been watching you for months. Justice is coming in. Maybe you're seeking tarot card readings. Maybe you're in opening up and awakening intuitively. But something is unbalanced that is going to become balanced, Spirit said. You have a new offer in money and a new offer with working on this cycle again. So you were with a karmic partner. You're giving the opportunity with a new person that you did not quite get an opportunity with in the past. They're coming in with an offer of love or maybe you're going to meet them at work and they want to share with you their emotions about you. Let's see romantically how this is going to play out for you, Leo, the new person. Let's do the new person first for Leo. What is the new person coming in for Leo? The new person for Leo. Love yourself first, right? Leo, it's all about you. Leo the line, working on your own love. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. Yep, Cupid's arrow, February. Someone is coming back. You're going to be in a new relationship. Cupid is working behind the scenes. They've kind of put you in the same spot. Maybe it's someone that you were dating's friend. Maybe, you know, they're going to give you more and they listened to you and they worked with you and they opened up their heart to you and you were struggling to both of go. Yep. Release your ex. And it could be a friend of your ex. It's a testy water with that. You know, when you're dating someone's friend, you know, be careful. You're getting messages. They're getting back with their ex. The one person they talk shit for years with you about. You put your time in and guess what? You interrupted that relationship. So now, spirit is saying luck. Know who your person is. Don't invest where there is no investment to be planted. When you plant the seed, you always take a chance. But this time you knew karma brings karma. Good things bring good things. Bad things brings bad things. Let's get a spirit for my Leo. Get a spirit card. Your time is coming. The wow spirit. Trust the great mystery. 11. Your twin flame is coming in. Time for beginner mind. Starting over. Yep. You missed a mark on the last cycle. I hate that. I've been through that. I've been through my awakening, the dark night of the soul, taking time back, really working on yourself, finding your own purpose in life, right? Give me an oracle today, an oracle for December for my Leos. They're working on their self-love. Let's project self-love into the universe. There it is, radiance. Shine like a diamond, right? We have the amber stone, which is the sun, the sun everywhere. Let your shine come through. Let your light shine down. Yep, shine down. It's a group, I think. I don't really know their songs, but yep, the sun is abundant. The sun is a brand new beginning. The summer solstice. Summertime is when you broke up and now you're radiating, right? People always come back when you're radiant, but do they want you when you're not radiating? You want the person who loves you no matter what. Let the radiance of the sun inspire your inner radiance to shine forth. Release your concerns about what may happen in the future and focus on appreciating everything you have that is good and right. Allow Father, Son, to take away your worries and cares. Do something physically active to stimulate your inner light. Dance, sing, but most importantly, get outdoors. Do not let any negative thoughts or habits stop you. When you are in love with life, you naturally radiate the love. During this part of your cycle, your capacity to love is greatly amplified. In one of those supreme ironics of life, the more love you give, the more returns to you. It starts by expressing the radiant being you truly are to be expressed in the world. Smile a little more. Notice the beauty of nature. See the humor and the paradoxes of life. 
Show your love, especially to those with whom you are closest. Then smile even more and watch how the world around you lights up. You're radiant, Leo. It's your time to shine. All right, let's get into the final crystal for the month of December for you guys. Oh, ancient wisdom crystal. Oh, ancient wisdom. I am an expression of the powerful ancient wisdom of my soul. It guides me through life. I am an expression of the powerful ancient wisdom of my soul. It guides me through life. Huh. Almost looks like looking out the window of an airplane onto the air where you see the clouds. But then it also is like you're inside a cave. And that spirit trying to put you guys together, two diamonds, shine like a diamond. Well, I hope this gives you a little bit more clarity for the month of December. You really need to work on you, Leo. I hope that all the happiness and joy that you've given to the karmic partner comes back to you in triple fold. But remember, karma brings karma. Good brings good. Bad brings bad. It's balanced now. Radiate like the sun and make sure when you project out into the universe what you want, that you're a representation of that and you're going to get it back. Well, I wish you a happy holidays. Share, like, and subscribe. Always, Leo, shine like a diamond. You are a diamond. We are all diamonds. 11-11. Your twin's coming in. Be patient. Namaste. Have a great holiday.